Hello and welcome to AHAVTIS.com Clipcast on setting up ASA 8.4.2 in GNS3. My name is Aleem HLE. And <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm this handsome gentleman to the right. Now, this Clipcast is an update to my previous Clipcast titled Setting Up an ASA in GNS3, as some of the source files in the previous Clipcast are no longer available. But I recommend watching that one first as the process and setup of the ASA are still relevant. Well, in this Clipcast, we'll be setting up the ASA using iOS 8.4.2 and installing ASDM 647 for web access. So, let's begin. Before we begin the install process, as usual, some prerequisites are needed. First, obtain the ASA 8.4.2 source codes from the URL below and keep it local on your machine. Next, obtain a valid ASDM image. The one used in this clipcast is ASDM-647.bin. And once you have all the required applications, we can proceed. So I'll open up GNS3. I'll go to Edit, then Preferences. Then I'll select Kemu and go to the ASA tab. I'll enter the ASA name as AHA-ASA-842. We'll bump the RAM up to about, about a gig or better. We will keep the number of NIC cards the same, and the NIC model type will be the same as the previous clipcast, which is the i82559ER. And here is where the differences between the previous clipcast and this one is. We will enter a key mu option, and that value is shown below. All right, so I'll enter that value here. Then I will add the INITRD file and the kernel file. Go to my desktop. Select this one first. Then the kernel, which is this one. Okay. Now another difference is now we have to enter the kernel command line. And that value is shown below. Okay, so I'll enter it now. And make sure you enter this value specifically the way it's shown. All right, and then I will click Save. Then I'll click Apply, and then OK. OK, so now we're ready to place our ASA in our design environment and turn it on. So I'll select the ASA and place it here. And then I will start. Once it turns green, I will double click it. And let's see what happens here. Now this will take a few minutes for the ASA to finish loading itself and ready for configurations. So I will pause the recording and come back. Okay, it looks like our ASA is finished loading and we can access it. And now we can begin configuring the ASA for our needs. As you can see on the screen, I had the same basic design that I had in my previous clipcast in order to download the ASDM onto our ASA for web access. So let me call back up my command prompt. Let's put this down a little bit here. We're going to configure the inside interface of the ASA that is connected to the switch by which I can download the ASDM from my local machine. So we'll go to config T. And this is something new. Would you like to enable anonymous error reporting to help improve this product? Well, since we're using GNS3 and not in a real production environment, it is safe to choose no in this case. <laughs> so now I will go to interface G0, add the IP address of 10.0.0.1 with a 24-bit subnet mask. I will name this interface inside, and by default, it will obtain a security level of 100. Next, I'll do a no shut, followed by HTTP server enable, then HTTP, the IP address of my 
TFTP server, which is my local machine, 10.0.0.2 with a 32-bit subnet mask and inside and we're almost good to go. I will ping this IP address to make sure it's alive and we're there. Next I will download the ASDM from my local machine into Flash. TFTP Flash, if I can spell it correctly. Okay. Followed by the source file name which is ASDM 647.bin and the same file name for its destination and it will already exist so let's do it again alright so we're going to download this ASDM-647.bin into flash it's going to take a few seconds for it to download so I'm going to pause the recording until it's completed Okay, it looks like the image file has been downloaded and um, we're good to go. Let's verify that. Let's do a show flash. And as you can see, we have the ASDM-647.bin in our flash. Okay, so let me call up a web browser here. And we will go to HTTPS uh, 10.0.0.1. We will continue with this website. And it brings us to the Cisco ASDM 6.4 Release 7 homepage. The next thing you want to do is install the ASDM launcher and run the ASDM. I've already installed the ASDM, so I won't go through this process. So I will double click the launcher. Okay, so we have a device IP, which is 10.0.0.1, which is the ASA. We have our username, and our password will be Cisco. And it will take a few seconds for this to launch. Okay, as loans configurations. And as you can see, we have successfully opened the ASDM 647 for access to our ASA running iOS 8.4.2. From here, you could go to the configuration tab and begin configuring your ASA to suit your needs. While I hope this clip cast on setting up ASA using 8.4.2 and GNS3 was enjoyable, I recommend you watching the first clip cast setting up an ASA in GNS3 for more detailed information. You can visit www.aha-vts.com for more clips, flicks, clip casts, and much, much more. I hope this clip cast was enjoyable, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.